You're a lucky man, Havoc. Using the information retrieved from the Nod Comm Center, we've managed to locate the scientists you lost. This fortress is the Black Hand's current base of operations. We believe that Ravishaw is holding Dr. Mobius and the others within its walls. Big house for such a little man. You'll need assistance on this one. We've brought in your old spec ops team, the Dead Six. Hotwire, Hatch, Gunner, and Dead Eye. They're already en route to the target area. They've been assigned to you. I work alone. Don't fight me on this, Havoc. These are good soldiers, the best. Dead Six calling Pegasus, over. Lock here. Approaching the drop zone, General. Gunner. Is that Havoc? Cheers, mate. How are you then? That's affirmative, Gunner. What's your ETA? We should have a visual in. We're under fire here, General! Repeat, we are under fire! Gunner, come in! They're down. We've got a chopper waiting. Get moving! Welcome back, Commandos. So, Gunner. More like Goner. Am I right? Alright, I'll sew myself out. So, there's a few things to note here. First off, Havoc can jump about, what, 30 feet? 50 feet? No problem. Uh, Havoc still has a problem with shooting first before asking questions. And third, screw that Chinook pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not in short supply at all. This is gonna be your tomb. Get used to it. Why don't you come down here and fight me face to face, coward? So there's a few problems that we're gonna come across in, in this mission. Specifically, uh, it's annoying in that, um, you know how non units kind of just like phase in or they get called in by non officers. Well. The game introduces this new reinforcement thing, where instead, units now come out of buildings. And it's a little frustrating, because like with previous missions, there's no real limit to how many can be called in. There's also a very annoying habit of uh, essentially not units. Uh, the biggest one you'll ever have to fear is the rocket troopers. This is just because rocket troopers, well, rockets are kind of a one-hit kill thing. Not explicitly, but generally speaking, you're in for a bad time against them. And what happens, or at least what the designers did, is set up a lot of rocket launcher units um, just kind of in hard to reach spots. Some of them aren't very obvious, and you kind of have like a sensory overload of where you should be looking uh, versus where units actually are. Like for example, how are you supposed to know that a rocket guy is there other than if you've died to him several times? Oh, and keep in mind that uh, I didn't notice the uh, objective marker, even though I played this mission before and completely uh, blanked on having to uh, get one of our Dead Six operatives. So there's going to be a noticeable cut slash fast forward later on in this video, and that's the reason why. Because I kind of went the entire mission without uh, saving her. Oops. I almost forgot as well the cutscene that introduces this level has a unit that does not show up in uh, this game. Maybe it does in multiplayer? I haven't noticed it. Um, let me let me check my guide here. I'm pretty sure it doesn't show up. The attack cycle is what I'm referring to. 
Which seems like a weird omission because the attack cycle is very memorable this to the, uh, the, the God's arsenal. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> My guide says as a page on the vehicles, which is weird. Why would it not have... Also, the cast of characters in my strategy guide doesn't talk about the uh, story characters whatsoever. So anybody that's mentioned is uh, specifically if they also show up in uh, multiplayer. Oh, okay. So there's so in the multiplayer section, there's vehicles. So we got Humvee, which we've seen, Mammoth Tank, we've seen, Medium Tank, we've seen. Something that won't show up. Apache helicopters, replacements, cargo trucks. Thing we'll talk about later. Attack helicopter. Something we saw in the cutscene, aka the flame tank. Mobile artillery, which we didn't really see. There was actually one earlier with the uh, mammoth tank, but we'll get there. Not buggies we've seen. Two more things that are spoilers. And everything else is the same old, same old stuff we've seen. So it's very strange that they have an attack cycle model, they've actually used it in a cutscene, but it doesn't show up anywhere in the game. Maybe they figured that the attack cycle would be too fast? I'm not quite sure how to uh, really handle it. It seems strange to me that Havoc, of all people, says that he works alone, and that Dead Six isn't really all that great or something, but it's implied at the very least that he doesn't really think too highly of him. Which is strange, because that's his unit. Of all the things, you'd think it would be some sort of like happy reunion between uh, he and them. I'm going to take this town if I have to vaporize every node reject in existence. I assume you're assisting. You know it. That actually wasn't part of a completion of a cutscene or anything. You have to actually talk to him. And I don't realize this for like 10 more seconds. What I'm saying is that sometimes Renegade is just coded is very Dana. weird. I'm held up in the fancy inn on the east side with some local resistance fighters. Need further assistance. Consider it done. Who's there? So I checked my my uh, objectives and I noticed contact Gunner, but I already spoke to him. So what gives? Well, apparently you have to. Maybe someone wasn't dead enough, or I don't know. Gunner, make your way to the cathedral. We'll rendezvous there. I'll be watching for you. Stay alive. I'll be back. This town's also pretty well built. Like, it's got a, a lot of different features to it, like this small little bridge that we're going to cross. Um, a lot of interior... Uh, locations, so on and so forth. I think the one problem, though, that uh, exists is kind of the same that most of these maps, large maps anyways, uh, exhibit. Namely, that there's sometimes just too much open ground. Sometimes it's nice to have, you know, options on where to go and, and how to complete objectives, but it kind of feels like a Battlefield 4 or, or 5 map where you stray a little bit too far to the left, and while it's part of the map, there's just nothing that ever happens there. Also, look at how inaccurate this thing is. Anytime now, gun emplacement. It's a gun emplacement. It doesn't move. The recoil should be nothing on it. I need support or my own podcast. I think I understand how Nod always loses. It's 
It's also a little frustrating to see how little C4 seems to affect tanks. There might be a balance issue for multiplayer because I, I don't know if this is one of those games that actually uses uh, separate settings for the two of them. And despite the call uh, by, what is it, Hotwire, I don't actually pay attention to why she's uh, she called. Supply Hilo Delta 12, possible rooftop sighting of terrorists in Quadrant 4. Those rocket launchers? Evasive! That's my uh, paranoia shining through. I have to admit, I had a lot of issues the first time I played this mission. It's kind of similar to uh, the previous one in that because the map is... GDI, I'll take well, you Well, the map was more confusing on, on the boat, but regardless, because it was... Uh, because these maps are the way they are, uh, it probably took me about an hour each mission. Oh. sucks when civilians just kind of run out as well when I need to protect them, quote-unquote. I still can't understand why gun emplacements are so poor in uh, their aim. I can't really say that it should have something to do with multiplayer or how the AI would use them. Especially since you can just make AI do stuff yourself. Yeah, the one time I'm not paranoid and checking every ledge is when there's two units, one with a rocket launcher. Also a good example of how the game will actively screw you over. GDI, you've come to help? Well, there's a crashed chopper with supplies all over nearby. Come with us. We'll show you. Also, this area sort of breaks. If you notice, there's a guy up top on the wall. Because I didn't. I heard something. Thank you, GDI. These weapons will help. Also, it, this was around a corner. There's, uh, how are you guys not able to do this? GDI forces, this is Resistance Radio. Communications indicate an escapee from the chateau is in our custody on the northern side of the village. It has valuable information. Make contact if needed. Affirmative. So, flamethrowers all spawn in, get behind me and the civilians. The civilians don't shoot. And then you get squashed between a flame tank and flamethrower. It's a little unforgiving. Oh, hey, Mendoza. <laughs> I guess you died. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what's supposed to happen there. I'm tempted to say it's because I missed one of the objectives, but I don't think the uh, the coding is that bad. Attention, GDI forces. This is a resistance radio. Lab is completing construction of an obelisk in the park on the northwestern side. If anyone is near the area, eliminate all lab engineers to stop construction. So this is to stop construction of an obelisk of light. Uh, Let's get out of here. Pretty, pretty good task. Sadly, it's made it just that much harder by having an attack helicopter bug us. As well as a not buggy in the field that we had to take out. As well as having to kill engineers. 
and having rockets being thrown our way. And there's not really much in the way of good cover. Kind of frustrates the entire or ordeal. It's also strange to me that the game says to conserve your ammo. They give you so many enemy units that you kind of just get free resupply anyways. Thankfully, there's just enough cover from the attack helicopter in certain corners, anyways, that you can kind of ignore it. You don't really have much in the way of shooting at it, anyways. I mean, sure, the rocket launcher is a good thing to use, but that's about it. I feel like the uh, Apache in this circumstance is just a little bit too fast. Or its patrol is, is uh, too frequent. This is one of those times where we immediately get the uh, reward, being the augmented armor. Every time you get augmented armor, you're basically uh, you're gaining. I think it's four. It's three or four. I, I forget. It's not a lot. Um, so you can't really make the most of it. It'd be nice if it was like a more substantial upgrade, and I don't think that's limited due to the difficulty. I think it's just kind of a weird design decision they made. Got one back from the dead, huh? What do you got for me? My brother escaped the chateau. He speaks of a lab underneath where Nod uses Tiberium to experiment with abominations. He smuggled out a weapon. Perhaps you can use it. Do you hear something? Yep, we've got company. Get ready. I heard something. Did you hear something? Yeah, I hope you don't mind there, buddy, but uh, I might I might put a, an end to your brother. Not that he really exists anymore. Huh? The new weapon that we got was the uh, the portable ion cannon for personal ion cannon. It's it's all right. I am not really going to show it off this mission, or at least I don't recall doing so. That's something for uh, later episodes. Did you spot that guy? I barely did. I think this is the default settings for uh, light and such. So help me! Oh, please help that's me! That's kind of how they wanted this to be played. Someone, anyone! Help me! I kept thinking oh, for some reason that me. one of the uh, the the second civilian was actually Nod units. And try not to chase him down. Help but me! Oh, please! Help the case. Me. Someone! Anyone! Help me! Also, apparently oh, they respawned, but I don't know. Oh, hey, technician. Mendoza, it's Havoc! Both teams drop! Now, now, now! Hey, Mendoza. Can you die already? No? Alright. Okay. Oh. 
So I, I may have gotten caught out by then on my first playthrough of this game that got scrapped. So I knew a little better. Did you see that person the first time? Imagine if you weren't in a in a vehicle where those uh, snipers would actually be a threat. Your skis are in for major bloodletting. Get up here. Keep your cool. Let him come. With how much I've been using the light tank, it just really makes me wish that there was a tick tank in this game. I forget if chemical troopers will ever actually try to shoot your vehicle. It doesn't seem like they do at long range. So Nick's uh, just not strong enough to jump over such a tiny wall. So I was a little worried that the armored personnel carrier at the back of the building would actually have unloaded people. But it seems like it was only those chemical troopers, and all they did was chase after my tank. Did I? Feels like old times havoc. Meet you at the cathedral. Also, yeah, Dead Six is as multinational as possible, which, I mean, whatever. It just kind of feels almost like they're caricatures instead of actual operatives. Not that, you know, Havoc's really done all that much uh, himself. In terms of professionalism, anyways. Now, I'm doing this because of two reasons. One, there's a very annoying way that this mission can play out, and it happens most of the time, so uh, you're probably better off to do it first before rescuing Deadeye. And the second is, is that I, well, after the fact, uh, I thought there might have been an issue with uh, the level itself, but uh, as mentioned prior, it turns out that it's due to me not doing uh, all the objectives in the order that they should have been done. So Deadeye is an infantry unit, uses a sniper rifle, blah blah blah, um, but he, he needs to go to a specific location, right? He's trying to get to the cathedral, like we are, and... Okay. A attention. This is Resistance Radio. Rumors are true. Our leader, Babushka, is kidnapped. Is anybody around to help? Hello? Is this on? I'm coming for you. You know, Havoc, you shouldn't say it that way. So, getting back to the issue, Deadeye is supposed to go to the cathedral like we are, and being a physical unit, or a, a, an actual unit in the level, uh, Dead Six is, you know, a group of units that can be damaged. Infantry, friendly or not, are still vulnerable to uh, anything that may be around. And the problem is, is that uh, Dead Eye is susceptible to being... Havoc, bust me out of here! Stand clear, Hotwire! Work your way to the cathedral and secure a comm link to lock. On it. See you there. And first objective complete. And we're back in action. That was, uh... That was rough. Do your objectives, folks. You're gonna bleed, GDI! Also, I guess Deadeye spent this entire time fighting a Nod Buggy? I don't know. What was that? 
I don't know. What is it? <laughs> nah, it doesn't employ the smartest of people. So, I was going to go into the cathedral, but I remembered that there's a secondary objective that I haven't completed yet. We know that you are their leader. Tell us where your associates are. Hey! You have my thanks. Our village is in debt to you. Saddle up! Havoc, please. So Babushka just kind of chills there for the rest of the mission. Also, remember how I was saying that uh, Logan doesn't get mentioned after this entire thing? Yeah, he's not a member of Dead Six, which is strange. Everybody else is here. Havoc! Black Hand squads are arriving from the chateau. Support fire needed. Spread out. What a day. So the last mission is essentially just a base defense. We get to see some mobile artillery, which are pretty dangerous. Uh, if you're ever faced against them, destroy them ASAP. Now for this mission, they're essentially just preoccupied with shooting the cathedral. But uh, if that ever changes, yeah, get out of their sights. Have I mentioned how, like, crazy situational flamethrower attacks are as well? It's just very hard to get, like, an accurate grip on how to use them or aim them properly. all those uh, twitch skills right there. I forget if it's possible to run over your allies. I don't believe it is, just because it would be too... way too easy to fail a mission. But it's been a hot minute since I tried. And killing that uh, last Apache ends the mission.